Right, let's change the subject entirely with the time almost at 27 minutes past five. During the election campaign, it was all about the so-called fiscal hole. Now the focus is on where the National has left a hole by not investing enough in hospitals, schools and so on during its nine years in power. The government says health and education have fallen prey to massive underspending and is moving to dampen spending expectations ahead of next month's budget. That's going to be big, that budget. But National has hit back, saying Labor is in crisis because it overpromised during the election campaign. So, is there a hole, and if so, who had the spade? Here's our Deputy Political Editor, Chris Bramwell. The Health Minister, David Clark, says the sector has been seriously underfunded, and the shoddy state of the Middlemore Hospital buildings are just one example of that. Dr Clark has asked for an asset register to be put together so he knows what needs to be replaced. The best estimate we have, and it is a ropey number, is that uh, over the next 10 years about 14 billion will need to be spent in terms of capital in the health sector. That's why I've asked for the work to be done so that we do have a proper plan for those assets because until we have better numbers there'll be a certain amount of uncertainty around it. David Clark says district health boards are running a combined deficit of nearly $190 million in the eight months to the end of February and that's forecast to hit $209 million by the end of the financial year. The Education Minister Chris Hipkins says there's a variety of challenges in his portfolio as well and is also pointing the finger at the previous government. I don't think the previous government did a good job of ensuring that education system as a whole was funded for population growth and that's in everything from early childhood education through to schooling through to tertiary education. Mr Hipkins says at least a couple of hundred million dollars worth of school buildings are not fit for purpose. Basically at the very bottom end of of the ranking, you know, in terms of whether they're usable, some of them aren't even usable. The question there is some of those buildings are in schools where there's extra capacity, so they may just be demolished and not replaced. Nationals leader Simon Bridges says it's clear the government's incredibly worried about delivering on the high expectations it raised going into the election. And this is why they've gone into crisis management here with these sort of things to try and reset. This is why they're doing the spin. Now this is why actually you've got a Prime Minister who said she'd be better than playing politics, but now is uh, looking to drip feed examples. I mean, it seems to me effectively what you're going to have is official dim out there in our schools and our hospitals looking for doors that don't shut uh, properly. I mean, this is ridiculous. Independent economist Shamabio Jacob says there was huge underspending in the past five years, but it was deliberate. Because the focus was very much on getting back to surplus, and there was a belief that smaller government would lead to better outcomes. Now with Middlemore and other things we can see that's not the case and whether it's housing, health, social services, each of those areas will find quite a bit of underspend. Before the election, Labor set itself a series of budget responsibility rules, including that it would reduce net debt to 20% of GDP within five years. Shamabil Jacob says the government has tied itself up in knots with those rules. The reality is that the promises they have made require much greater resources than they can manage with paying down debt and getting back to surplus. It's simply not going to work. They're going to have to find some alternative to either reduce their promises or to bite the bullet and borrow more money and spend. The Finance Minister, Grant Robertson, is sticking to his guns, though, insisting the government can make the investments it needs to within its budget responsibility rules. The Coalition Government's first budget will be unveiled on Thursday, May the 17th. Atawiti Whare Pari Mata, Mōti Hōtaka o Te Ahi Pōnei, ko Chris Bramalahau.